Millions of jobs were lost. The auto industry was on uh, the brink of collapse. Uh, the financial system had frozen up. It's small business that creates the jobs in America. And over the last four years, small business people have decided that America may not be the place to open a new business. Economics professor Charles Ballard is here. We'll be hearing some of that tomorrow night in the debate uh, between the uh, challenger, Mitt Romney, and the president, Barack Obama. Deb Muchmore is here, too, from MRG. Welcome back to the program to both of you here in our AT&T studio. We're going to throw a little uh, curveball at you here, professor, just for the fun of it here. Uh-oh. You're an economics professor. I hope professor. I do better than the Yankees. Uh, yeah, those I'm balls. happy that worked out yeah, nicely. Yeah, and yeah. then we get throw Justin Verlander at him Tuesday Ooh, yeah. after a day off. Uh, they're, they're cooked. Um, there is a documentary film crew here. And uh, just to prove their point, they rode their bicycles here from campus. Could have ridden with you if, if only they'd known. But their whole theory is Thrive With Less is the name of the picture. And we have uh, Josh Michaels, Matt Raddick, and Colin Marshall. Welcome to the program, Colin. Thanks for having All us. All of you, too. The, the premise of the movie, which I understand Troy Hale is your professor... Uh, Nikki Hale is our world correspondent on the program, but what's the premise of the film? Yeah, the idea behind the film is that uh, we as students have just kind of gotten to a point where we think that maybe the world has gotten a little too excessive, a little too focused on things that maybe aren't as important. So we started by challenging ourselves to do some things differently in our lives. We started riding our bikes more, started eating out less, getting on social media less, using Facebook less, all that kind of stuff. And we also interviewed some individuals that do some pretty cool things to do that, too. Some urban farmers, commuter cyclists. We even interviewed a guy that lives in houses full-time that are less than 100 square feet. So uh, we made the film, and it got released in May, and now we're doing festivals, things like that. You live the lifestyle in order to make it? Yeah, absolutely. What was the toughest part? Uh, for me, uh, the toughest part was um, we, had a, we had a challenge where we had to wear four shirts and one pair of pants for an entire month. So uh, that oh. was an interesting uh, change up in laundry habits. Uh, without any laundering? Uh, well, you know, you wear a shirt a couple days and it still it still smells okay. You know, as long Does as you're it? not offending anybody, you can uh -huh. you can keep wearing it. <laughs> uh, these are these are three guys that are not going to be growing the economy anytime soon if their movie takes off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is a curveball. I'll tell you. Back to that. So, so let me comment a little bit. Uh, you know, uh, what the the economist would say is. Uh, that consumption is is good, but you've got to live within a budget. And one of the budgets that we have to live within is that we are pressing very hard against the resources that this earth has. Uh, and so I, I do think that we need to press toward more sustainable agriculture, more uh, sustainable uh, uh, environmental policies, or, or else, uh, you know, I'm not sure what we'll leave to our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren. And so I, th I think that this is part of a very huh. important discussion. And, and let me just yeah. mention the other. Um, in terms of getting exercise, riding your bike, whatever, um, we in America have, have a problem with, uh, with obesity, with hypertension, with diabetes, with heart disease. And if we uh, eat a little bit less uh, junk food and, and get a little bit more exercise, we will be a stronger nation as a result. Uh, did you do any farming? Do you guys have to grow your own marijuana during this time? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, we, we all live in uh, apartments in uh, small places. You know, being so college students, can't, students, can't really have a permanent farm or anything like that. We did, we did talk about it, though. Yeah. Did you? Yeah. Where can we see the movie? Um, right now, the, the film is not open to the public as we're trying to send it to some film festivals, but okay. we recently pitched to every PBS station in the state, and uh, they all seem really floored by yeah. the concept, and, and they really liked it, so we think that's going to happen. We also have a Kickstarter um, that's going to go live at the end of this week, so we're trying to raise some money so that we can send in to more festivals and uh, ideally travel with the film. We really want to spread this message to as many communities as possible. That's the main goal, not to make money here but to spread the message. Is Michael Moore one of your uh, one of the people you admire? Because it sounds like a Michael Moore kind of thing almost. Uh, you know, he's, he's doing some interesting things. I don't know if admiration would necessarily okay. be. <laughs> he certainly paved the way for people like us to make a statement. That's so. true, yeah. Now, Professor, will you give them a ride back to campus? At least it's cold <laughs> outside. I, I, I will offer a ride now. I'm not sure whether they want no, to. No, they won't to, take it. We, so. We've got the wind at our backs. We're actually okay, okay. Right. okay. It's going to be That's great. Right. The hard part's over. <laughs> Did you take the river trail? Did you, did you ride the river trail down? No, just right down Michigan Avenue. Right down Michigan yeah. Avenue. Yeah. That's the great. Flies. That's mm -hmm. great. You know, if they went down Michigan Avenue, uh, you would learn in, in the paper this weekend, Lindsey Van Hollie is here. She covers Lansing for the Lansing State Journal. There's going to be some development connecting where we are in downtown Lansing with campus as we understand it. Welcome to the program, Lindsay. Hi, thank you. Give us a scoop, would you? Well, they um, are in the process right now of, of 
taking a look at that Red Cedar property and, and trying to, to work with a couple of developers on a plan that they have. Chris Jerome and Joel Ferguson, we understand, are locals, and there's a company called Carpenter and Company. What do they want to do with that Red Cedar project? It used to be a golf course, wasn't it? Uh, several years ago it was a golf course and now they they are interested in uh, sort of a, a, a broad mixed-use project including housing for students and professionals um, lots of entertainment dining retail um, and, a, and a, a large recreation portion um, and you know an amphitheater um, other types of, of uh, public activities uh, trails and things like that hotels I understand it too up to uh, maybe 200 beds what what are the chances mm -hmm. this project will actually take flight there, this, you know, the city and, and developers are, are pretty optimistic. I think the big, the big hurdle right now is going to be what happens in the election in November. Um, the city has a proposal to sell up to, uh, or to ask voters to authorize the sale up up to uh, 48 additional acres of that parkland. And so that's going to be uh, essentially in, in addition to the 12 acres that they asked for, asked for initially last year. We'll see what happens. Thank you for the scoop this weekend. It's at LSJ. Dot com. There's always been that effort to sort of bridge, like in Madison, Wisconsin, other places where there's a capital and a campus, bridge them together. But it seems, uh, Professor Ballard, like that 127 has always been like the Berlin Wall. Well, we do have a problem of, of thinking in sort of silos mm -hmm. in, in, in lots of metropolitan areas, not just in, in Lansing. But, you know, we, we have a tendency to think, oh, okay, there's Lansing here, there's East Lansing here, there's Okemos here, there's Hazlitt here. Whereas I think th to the extent that we can change our thinking and think of we're all we're all in the same game. We're all part of the Lansing metropolitan area. That will help us to, to create a more vibrant place to live. Maybe we can share some government services, too. Uh, that would be a really, really good thing. Thank you very much for that. Uh, we have, of course, I heard that from Mayor Bernero. It's 25 after the hour. We'll be back with more of your Monday. Gentlemen, get some coffee from us for the ride. It's chilly, but you got the wind at your back, and let us know how your movie progresses. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Try to uh, thrive with less is what their message is. Back in a flash. 27 minutes after the hour on your Monday morning. Let's make those Michigan State students our Northwood University leaders of the day. Northwood University selling them grading over 50 years of producing leaders and celebrating free enterprise. And so less with more is our uh, Northwood University leaders of the day, even though they're from Michigan State. Northwood.edu is where you go for more information. You want information about the weather? Turn up your radio or TV right now. John McMurray has the forecast. Our rainy setting held across...